have just under four tenths of a second from the time the ball's released till it hits the catcher's mitt. When you're physically in the box and the pitch is coming, you think about nothing but the ball. From a physics perspective, you're trying to figure out how to hit the ball as far as possible. The primary thing is how fast that bat is moving when the ball and the bat make contact. That's the angle that the ball is gonna leave the bat. And optimally, if you're looking to create one between 25 and 35 degrees. This is the place along the length of the bat that is best at transferring energy to the ball. It's typically maybe five or six inches in from the end of the bat. Batters are simply trying to hit more home runs. When I first started coming up in, in Major League Baseball, we were taught to hit the top part of the ball, try to hit a hard ground ball, and if you get lucky, you know, maybe you'll hit a little bit lower and maybe you'll get a home run. Now, if you fast forward, players now are trying to actually hit just below the center of the ball to try to create more home runs. I've played at stadiums where there's 50,000 people screaming, and when you get in the box and the pitcher he's about to deliver, I don't remember hearing anything. It just goes completely silent, pretty much. I think you're so locked in. So when I've hit, I've never heard the crack of the bat, I've never heard anything, none of that matters. And then once you finally start to run, then all of a sudden it comes back. <laughs> 